He's like, imagine doing your job where you're not allowed to knock doors and your sole income is built off of referrals. And I was like, interesting. I would definitely be broke. <laughs> I was like, I don't ever do referrals. Like I sucked at referrals and alarms. Mm-hmm. And uh, so you've obviously taken some of this hybrid cut co referral game of preset appointments is what they call them, right? Mm-hmm. How do you, like, how is that translated into solar and kind of shed some light on like best practices there? So, so back in the day when I was doing cut co, I basically would get about 10 referrals each appointment and and if you're listening to that most of you probably have not gotten 10 referrals each year so you know what yeah. I mean? like yeah it's crazy so it's like our training was this we basically would and it was kind of funny but we would literally take a, a sheet of paper a full sheet and label it to 30 so we would like label it to like 30 or 33 whatever it is filling the whole page and during our appointment we would basically say, hey, you know, I'm sure that you've probably got some other friends that might be interested in what I'm doing. As a reminder, I just need to get the appointment. I just need to sit down with them. Like they don't have to buy or anything like that. I just want to show as many people this product as I can. Um, If you could just jot down, you know, everyone that you know, uh, I've only got 30 names here, but just fill up as many as you can. And if you need another page, I can get you one more. And I would literally just put it right there and then kind of just start going into who do you know who loves to cook who do you know who has like the the kitchen that every all of your friends just envy because they're always in the kitchen cooking who do you know that is the social butterfly of all their you know friends and family so that was kind of like the start of it and people would feel awkward to write two names down with a list of 30. so i remember one person i got over a hundred names from them and numbers at that moment wow like they fill up the whole 30 and then they're like i need like another couple pages and they were grabbing their church directory they were grabbing their neighborhood directory like they were just writing everyone down and i was like yeah obviously like i don't want to just call them randomly like let's let's make a plan and make a phone call so that you're prepping them for this meeting just so that they're not like caught off guard by hearing from me so I was, I was really good at setting the stage and, and framing that really well for people so that they could like get excited about what they were working with me on. And so it became like almost like a game. And so what I would do is we would give them like something for free if they could, if they could fill up the page. Oh, and so, so that was like the goal. And, and we literally like, you know, and Cutco has this amazing uh, ice cream scoop that like just like melts like just by touching it. Have you ever seen that? Yeah. It's pretty cool. Like you can put an ice cube in it and it'll just melt the ice. How does it do that? I've it's seen it. It's not like some chemical or something. I don't even remember, but it, it's, it's pretty awesome. And so I would do that in my demo and then I would take the ice cream scoop out and say, Hey, if, if we can get to 30 today, uh, that's yours. And I would just put it there, just like lay it there on the table. And people are like, really? It's like, yeah, that's yours for free. We just have to get to 30 names. And so there were all these tactics that we used, right? And and I would get a lot of a lot of names. I was generating anywhere from probably ten to uh, ten to a hundred a week, depending on the week. And it was it was nuts, right? I was getting all these different referrals. We'd have you know these blitzes where we would make phone calls for two or three hours, just calling our different lists that we would gather. So you had these like phone blitz mm-hmm. moments. Yeah, because that I think is key. I used to get names and then never call them. Yeah, <laughs> so right, and 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 then I would get like the top ten people or the top five people from that list, and I would say, hey, who would you say is probably like the most likely to want some of this stuff? And they would say, oh, probably Cindy. Yeah, she she or, and maybe Lisa. I don't know. And I'd say, okay, just circle them. Just circle where they are on the list because those are the people I'm going to call first. I want you to call them tonight. And let them know that I'll be calling. And so that was like, that was me, you know, 10 years ago when I was 21 years old, not even knowing whatever I, you know, not even knowing really anything about what I was doing in sales. Yeah, you were just, just trained that way. I was just trained that way. Yeah. Right? And so that's how it started. When I got into solar, I started knocking doors in Colorado. And it was like in the middle of the winter. It was super cold. And I just wanted to get in front of people. 
And so I remember like I, I pushed really hard my first month I had over, I think it was 10 welcome calls that, that first month. And, um, and from those 10 people, I got like a hundred more people. It was crazy. And I kept knocking while working in that referral game, but I just took the same exact thing that I was doing right then as I was leaving Cutco, I took it and just implemented it into my, my solar thing. And I just made a list and said, Hey, you know, let's see if we can get 10 people for me to show this to, like I said, they don't have to buy or sign up or whatever, but I just need to get in front of some people. And so it was like the same exact principle, but I just put it into solar. And from there, it's kind of morphed into something else where um, I, I really have people that are on my team that are partners with me as referral partners. Mm. And I'll buy them vacations. I'll literally, like I do all these crazy things for my top people that are, that are sending solid, consistent business over to me. How do you keep engaged with those types of people? Because, you know, we've always been like, hey, dude, like I'll pay for a vacation. I'll do something cool. And then you know, they don't think about it on a day to day. So like, how do you keep them? Do you have like some kind of touch points, checking in, motivating them? Yeah, that's a good question. So, so basically people will forget about you if you don't stay on their mind. Yeah. Right. And they'll, they'll, they'll forget quick. Right. Especially if you, you're just meeting them door to door, whatever, or however you met them, like, unless you become a part of their life, they're not going to remember you. Yeah. And so uh, basically I have some very, very strong seeds that I plant in my presentations with them. And I'm planting seeds, I'm showing them the spreadsheets that I have for my top people that have sent me 27 people and have 10 of their friends installed. And they got their trip to Hawaii that I paid for, for them. So, so kind of the way that I do it is if we can get to 10 installs, I'll pay them $4,000 for whatever vacation they wanna go on. And so that's like a big number for me. And then, and then there's, there's little stepping points as we go, but like number 10 is like where it gets good. That's where they're like, oh wow, okay. So what I've learned is that I don't want just one referral from someone, I want 20. And I wanna help them to get 10 because if we can get to five together, five installs together, now we're working together. They're not gonna give up on it. They're gonna keep sending people to me because I can keep bringing that up. Hey. Remember that trip to Greece that you told me about that you were like super excited about, you know, you, you wanted to do that trip for over 20 years, five more people and we're there. Okay. That should only take us about six more months to get there. And then I'm buying you and your husband that trip to Greece that you've always wanted. So it's like, I'm almost interjecting myself into their life, but in a way where they know that I'm sincere and that I'm helping them. Yeah. And then I build even more credibility by showing them pictures of my people that have gone on those vacations that I paid for. That's cool. And oh, so I actually great. have pictures of it. And it's like, hey, this is Lou. He went to the Philippines. I paid for a three week vacation for him and his wife to go to the Philippines for his mom's 70th birthday. These are 22 pictures that he sent me from the trip. I just wanted to share those with you. It builds that like validity to, you know, cause I know people that do referral incentives and never even pay it. They're like, oh yeah, I forgot. I gotta like Venmo that one guy a hundred bucks. Like, oh yeah. Yeah, no, when, you know, I'm paying twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 in referrals, you know, because most of my business is coming from referrals. And every single time that you drop off a check to someone, guess what happens? They trust you even more. Yeah. They want to keep working with you. And so one other thing that I do that I'll just give you guys as a little, you know, part of my process is I'll do freebies in my area. So if I have a solid customer that's either installed or getting installed, I'll do freebie referrals for them where I'll pay them for their neighbor as the referral if the neighbor gets it, even if they don't know that neighbor. So I'll give them the first check as a freebie. And guess what? Every single time I've done that, I get more referrals. Interesting. Every single time because it's that law of reciprocity where people want to reciprocate. They want to give back. And so when I do it so freely, where it's like, hey, just to let you know, and, and I just actually did this like a couple of weeks ago. Uh, one of my customers, he hadn't heard from me for probably three or four months. So it'd been a while, but he'd sent me a few referrals that got installed. And so like we were, we were working together and two houses down, his neighbor got installed. It was a fresh knock that happened to get installed. And I went back to that customer and said, hey, here's that check. 
your neighbor two houses got the system installed because of that, because you got it first and he probably saw your install, that helped me. That helped build mo momentum on your street. So because of that, I, I just wanted to give you that as a little, little bonus. And I, I kid you not, three days later, he sent me seven numbers. No way. Seven phone numbers. I didn't even ask. It was just that freeness and sincere, like, appreciation where he said, wow, okay, Matt's solid. He's gotten a few of my people set up. I can trust him. That's huge. And building that relationship of trust through actually following through with what you say, where it's not just, it's not just words. It's like, okay, Matt did say that he works with a lot of people. He said that he made one guy over $10,000 in referral money in a year. You know, that could be me. Yeah. What could I do with $10,000 more? That's only for 12 referrals that get it with, with my program. That's awesome.